in my life, which I think has given me the confidence to come up here. For example, I was once an, inter an interviewer at the International Convention of Dog Economists. Rover, in a word, could you please summarize the recent economic downturn? Rough. <laughs> and, and what would your advice be to people who, you know, what should they do with their portfolio? What should they, what should they form an exit strategy? What should they do? I think it can be important to <laughs> overthink these things. I think that the downturn's a little bit overstated. I think there'll be a swift market correction soon. No need to bury all the gold in the back garden then. I'm sorry. <laughs> I got my press pass revoked. I was recently at an introductory lecture, and there were two lecturers. There was a main guy, and there was a second lecturer. And they were doing admin stuff, and about halfway through, someone told us before, <laughs> about halfway through, the, um, the main guy goes, oh, you can leave if you want, Steve. You know, we've done the admin stuff. I'm going to start teaching properly. And Steve just goes, yes, I will. And Steve begins to slowly start leaving the room. Steve looks left. Steve looks right. One thing that everyone in this room knows is that this room has got only one door that leads to the outside. And Steve takes a door, a different door, straight into a cupboard. <laughs> Lights aren't on in the cupboard, pitch black. Steve goes in, one minute, two minute, three. Steve comes back out, we're all staring at the door. He comes back out and announces bravely to the room, it appears that I have walked into a cupboard. And then absolutely glides out of the room. You all find that really funny, which I find quite interesting. because The thing that makes that funny is also what makes it a little bit grim, is that Steve is actually partially sighted. <laughs>